All right, y'all, we'll keep it simple. We have an action-packed video for you guys today, getting the black sheep ready for PRI. But before we go any further, we are getting down to the wire on our 650 horsepower turbo Colorado shop truck giveaway. You guys can go to lsnasty.com. It's the first link in the description below. Every $1 you spend gets you 10 entries to win, so you got a good chance of winning. And we have a brand new shirt up on the website, a brand new Nasty Co. design, because we know everybody loves money. You guys can go and get that shirt, get entered to win, and we have a bunch of other shirts up there. We have our three lines, Nasty Co., Nasty Racing, and Small Tire Outlaws. Shop around, hat, shirts, stickers, socks, we got it. You can't win unless you're entered. You guys need a new daily driver? Well, we got you covered. LSNasty.com, we're giving away this 650 horsepower Turbo LS Swap Colorado. speed manual you need it in your driveway it's 10 times entries lsnasty.com bunch of brand new merchandise winter collection is up there hats shirts stickers socks you name it we got it check it out you cannot win unless you're entered Welcome back to another episode of Fabrication with Salty John Fab and what's your like name? Oh, it was Mason's machining earlier. I mean, oh yeah, I was, I was a machinist earlier. I think we should call it the lesbian with a level. Got he. <laughs> oh. Mm. Salty John Fab and the lesbian with a level. <laughs> <laughs> so Damn, Mason. We're, we're building a burn down tank. You guys really liked the equation last time, so someone comment what is the value of A? So slight tilt on this one. It's not let me draw it to scale here. Let's draw it to scale. So back is an inch larger than the front. So you have six and a half, twelve, five. And a half, what is the length of that? It's not exactly you know 12. You know how to do the math, right? No, I don't. For real? I mean, I, I'll i tell you exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make the sides and everything. I'm gonna make this one piece and then I'll just hold it up to a piece of aluminum, trace it out. And Can I do it. the math real quick? No, let the people do it. Solve, solve A. I, I wanna do the math real quick. We know you're but smart. Not on camera, just for us. You can, yeah, you, you do it in your head. I can't do it in my head. I have to write some, I have to write it down. All right, you write it down and don't show you can us. You use your fingers? And then when the video releases, you can compare it to the people's yeah, yeah, answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. I was, so it's six and a half, five and a half, and 12. We're, we're gonna make the U, and then we'll cut the sides out for it and shit. Uh, it's gonna be 18 inches wide. So the, for the sheet, I added a half inch. All three of those values equal 24. At a half inch, which maybe a little bit long. Weren't we a little bit long? No, I added a full inch, and we cut, ended up cutting off three quarters of an inch. So should I add a quarter inch, and we shouldn't need anything? I'm gonna be honest. I haven't been following you this whole time, so I, I just am lost. Wow. Okay, we'll make this 25 and a quarter, or 24 and a quarter inch by 18. All right, so we need to get our aluminum over here. We need to cut out a rectangle, 24 and a quarter inches by 18 wide. Take it over to the break. Make a break at five and a half and six and a half.
cut down this side so it goes halfway up the bar on this uh, get back, back here too. Well, you want to cut off this. Like, whatever that is to make, see how this one goes halfway up the bar? I mean, it's fine. I'm saying how much you want to cut off. However much that measure. You got a measuring device? Okay. You just want to have more angles, what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to put in the effort to make it fall the bar, make it fall also, optical illusion, when I mount it, I can hang it off the bar and I can just put a little bit of mm. in it. Help it drain better too with it all going to the back. Take an inch off of this and then we'll just mount it at an angle. So you do what Pop said, take a half inch off and it'll be even <coughs> and it'll look good. Yep. All right, we're doing what Pop said. This should be 18 inches. Yeah. Well, so hold that side over there square. Yeah. Let me square it over here. Then cut that. Oh my God! Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, stay calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait! Everybody, you calm down. The old wood blade trick. That's the best dude. I'm telling you. Tell him that. You don't need to do that. Yeah, you do because if you change the measurements. What are you talking about? The side. Just lay it, stand it up on yeah, the side and trace it out. Is that going to be? That's be exactly, exactly what we did on the last exact one. Exact measurement that you need into the crazy part. That's so fucking. Bastard! Ah! 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 What a dick! So sorry. <laughs> you like that better? All right, we have some welding to do. We got all the the sides. We have an X. We have not. Mastered the break. I think there's a way where you can break it to get the sides to lay up. I don't know. I'm not sure. No I clue. I don't think there is. I don't. Maybe I don't know. But I just break break the bottom, set the top on, <clears throat> weld up the sides. Um, the way that the tanks are sit in the car, it's going to sit like this. Front of the car here, rear of the car here. Uh, the slope matches the down bars, so it'll just look a little bit nicer in there. Uh, we're going to put a a tube out of the top that goes out the trunk. That'll be the vent tube. On each side, we're gonna have inch and a quarter uh, barb fittings. They are going to attach to the burn down. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna build a catch can for the transmission. It's kind of like an overflow deal. So it pumps into this can, but it pumps from the bottom. So it will fill up and then drain back into the transmission. If it were to overfill that, then it would vent uh, that fluid back into here. So we'll put a bung right in the middle and have a push lock fitting there. But, um, that is, it's, it still vents pressure from the transmission, but that way, if it is puking fluid, it drains back instead of having to keep refilling the transmission. That's something I learned on Slick Rick, so. But all the vent in the car ends up going into this, and I don't know the capacity of this, but I'm pretty sure it's probably similar to the oil pan on the car. They tell you to make your capacity of your catch can, your burn down tank, the same size, so if you do expire a piston or something and it pressurizes the uh, crankcase, this can hold it all, but when you add the volume of the lines as well, I, I think we're, we're fine. I don't know what the... It's about four or five times bigger than the one that was in there, so... Yeah, the one that was in there was not sufficient. Yeah. Doesn't fit. Okay. Okay. You just need some 
standoffs. Yeah, I'm literally just gonna set it there, weld one of those tabs there, and put put a bung in it, bolt it right to it. That's pretty good. Thoughts, everyone? That'll work. Yeah. Some standoffs on the t front tank, like threaded. Yeah, yeah. So then you just weld a tab down and then put it right there and be done with it. Well, this one here. <laughs> Let's go over here to the tank. We got the tank all welded out. Um, I didn't, I mentioned a baffle, but I was almost out of gas with the welder. So I was like, I'm just not gonna weld a baffle in to save gas. So we got the tank welded out and it literally, it fits. I mean, some people might say it's ugly just because it's a big rectangle, but that's what it needs to be. It needs to hold. Yeah, this needs to hold volume. Yeah, almost the same amount of oil capacity. this is a very shallow trunk. Yeah, you so I think a lot of them are deep. They're like a, just a rectangle. We'll show you guys in a second. Um, I didn't put a baffle in it, right? I didn't put a baffle, but I think I have a solution. I'm gonna, when I get the barb fittings to go in it, I'm gonna weld a tube to the end with that points down. Um, so it forces any of the oil and stuff down instead of just shooting straight back against this because we're gonna put our outlet in the center of the back right here. So coming the tubes coming in will direct it you know out and down to the sides yep. i got mason making a baffle to go here on the tank so we'll cut it out we'll weld it to the tank and then the tube will come out from there so it'll baffle it uh, a little bit but we realized this when we looked at steven <laughs> from rock solid motorsports tank i do i use a bunch of his products because he makes absolutely badass stuff not like this you know, it's so sad because we have a plasma table, but we haven't had time to get it set up. Uh, I have an array of Steven's tanks. They are badass yeah, in all are. shapes and sizes. This one here doesn't have the tube welded on. And then Dave's like, damn, look at that baffle in there. Also, look at his welds. His welds are way nicer than mine. <laughs> uh, but that baffle is serious. Yeah, it's a nice baffle. It is a nice <laughs> baffle. So we're going to... Also baffle ours, but in a much different way. And and we'll let you know how it works. Oh, mm. I'm gonna steal these for sure. Steven, send me another bag of these. Send me actually, send me five bags of these <laughs> because these are nice, dude. Just weld these on everything. Seriously, this yeah. is nice. Now I already got my brackets mm -hmm. and I got a sticker too. I'm not gonna put the sticker on the tank and let people think that my shitty welds are yours though. No. I'll give you that. No, you can't do that. No, I won't do that. I won't do that. But it rocks out motorsports parts going on everything. <laughs> I wonder if my baffle design works really well. I'm gonna tell Steven about it. Like, hey. I'm gonna be like, hey, I could save you so much time and money. Just put this bullshit baffle in your tube. It, you'll know it's really bad if before we close the trunk, we put a rag over it so the trunk holds a rag on it. If if that's the case, I did not do a great job of baffling the tank. Dude, how are we gonna know where to cut the hole in the trunk is the question. Uh, we're gonna have to put easy. a bunch of grease on this and just close it. Literally pull a string across here, <coughs> figure out so you can figure out like close to height, and then you cut it like a half inch long. Yeah. Cut this off like a half inch long, put grease on it, shut the trunk. Yeah, that's We need to mount it first though. So I think we can do that like tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I weld something, I'm itching. Let me weld that on there. Oh, yes. No, you can get some two pieces of scrap and weld it oh together. God. What a piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, imagine it's all good and then it just has a damn nugget. Uh, just a mason nugget. Just <laughs> bleh, right where everyone sees too. Oh, what? That's an actual fear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look Man's wild. Man's crazy. I think that'll back up. There's a bunch of tiny little holes. Yeah. Cause I mean, hell, it's gonna be liquid coming out of there anyway, so what the hell's the difference? Yeah, literally You like it? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna weld this up. Mason, let me weld this up first. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't no, that one. No, that's way that's way too <laughs> It high. wasn't that one. It's way. literally right here. Yeah, we got it. I, it was right in the I mean, yeah. it's Logan marked that. Yeah, that's that's pretty. Good. I mean, that's the worst pretty case, close. worst case Ontario. If you is, want it on the back of the tank. I mean, the too. tank, the tank can move up a little bit. I think. Keep wide. Anyone opposed? Yes. 
not where you had it before. What do you mean it's not where I had it before? Yeah, it pretty much is. I guess. If it looks like shit, Mace, it's gonna be your fault. I don't give a fuck. Do you want me to do it so you can get blamed for it? Uh -huh. Oh, oh. Mm. oh! Got it. Oh, my heart. Right, Please tell me there's a tank inside there. Vacuum cleaner. Let me find that bar. <laughs> Stop. Stop! <laughs> Don't be doing that to me! Oh! oh! Two options. Cut it with a bandsaw high and then grind it down to the line, or just go ahead and cut it with a cutoff wheel right in front. Yeah, let's cut it high with the bandsaw. Uh, that's annoying. I cut it perfect with the bandsaw, just like an inch higher. Sharpie! We got good orientation. Yeah. Are we welded out? Probably drill a hole for it. Oh, that's gonna be cake to weld. You want someone to hold that way? Straight. When it's on the car and fits perfect. I want everyone at home to be inspired that they can do some dumb shit like this. So like, Wait, do you see my, my, zoom in on that fucking nugget of a pack. <laughs> oh, but me, you mean the floating nugget? Mm. All potatoes? No meat. He has uh, major problems going on right now. Oh, wait.